So again, then guys, in this example, the main important thing to is to kind of understand our transformations. So I would just immediately go ahead and sketch our graph. We know that the x minus 2 is shifting my graph over 2, right? So we're going to the right 2. And then the graph is obviously going down, because this is negative is reflecting over the x-axis. So now I know my shape is going down, OK? Um, now we just need to calculate where everything is going to be. Um, for at 4, we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, now it's a little bit different, because now everything got shifted over to the right 2, right? So now, instead of going over 1, down 1, which would have been perfect at the origin, you can see at 4, I only went as down as, as far down as 2. Right? I didn't go 4 to 4, like in the previous example, which you were making a sense of, because it was at the origin. It would go over 4, down 4. Now I went only down as 4. So then, therefore, at negative 6, I would have gone, instead of going negative 6 down to negative 6, I went, had to go down as far as negative 8. So I don't even. I don't need graph paper to do this. However, however, if you have graph, you know, graph paper or whatever else, it's you know, you can go ahead and graph, and you're still going to get these uh, two areas. So basically, we're just going to be looking at my area on my left, which is still one half base times height. Just remember, guys, that these two are negative areas. So we're going to be calculating basically the negative area, which is going to be one half uh, six times 8, which is going to equal negative 24. It's a negative area. And then my area of my right side, which is going to be 1 half 4 times 2. Yeah. 1 half. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, I was just writing in there. I didn't even take a look at the. You could look well. Technically, you could you could orientate the triangle however you want to to make it the base, whatever, right? Y yes. Well, it's you're saying that 24, right? Base times six. That's four. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, you're right. I didn't. I'm not going by this way too fast. Thank you very much. I need to slow down. Good catch. Thank you very much. Um, yes, I was calculating as far as my. Four. Where did I get from the negative six? Yes, thank you. Good catch. I gotta slow down. Yes, don't get caught on this. is a very common mistake. You can see I even made the mistake myself. Just because you see the negative six, you want to count, calculate that as a negative six. But just make sure you calculate that as the whole side. Right. This point is negative six, negative eight. You're right. The point is correct. I made a mistake on the base, though. That is absolutely correct. So we went down as far as we went for our negative eight. And then our height, though, is also our eight, which gives you four, which gives you a 32. And since it's below the x-axis, so let's say it was eight, we're going to make that is going to be a negative <coughs> area. Over here, if you look at the picture, you can see that we have two, and um, then we're going also down two. Why did I do it in a four? Yeah, I got to slow down. So like in this case, you can see we have base with two times two, which is going to be a negative two. So therefore, my total area is going to be a negative 32 plus a negative two, which is a negative 34. Right? Take it slow. Don't rush. Good video on me rushing through something. All right, last one. 